It's 3.15 p.m., March 2nd. Storm sirens are wailing. The 36,000-pound school bus is no match for the tornado. Debris flying, lightning flashing. Watch how the bus moves across the parking lot, slams into a car, and then is lifted and carried across the road, crashing into a diner. The bus microphones even picking up the sound of glass breaking inside the restaurant. On this bus, just 13 minutes earlier, 11 children heading home, dismissed early because of the threat of severe weather. The driver reassures them. Angel Perry, the bus driver, scrambling to find a place to take cover. We're going to go to the Baptist church, too. I don't know what else to do. As the skies darken, the chatter increases on the bus and the radio. Carla, I know you're busy. Um, it's 3 I have Isaiah uh, Lewis. Uh, Quiet! The bus now nearly three miles from school. And I stopped the bus for a second, put my hands down, and I said, Dear Lord, what do I do? You can hear Perry as she makes her decision to turn the bus around. Count how many kids we have, please. Eleven, thank you so much. If anybody needs to call their parents, we're going back to the school. I can't, I don't know my parents. We'll call when we get to school. Tornado on the ground. Tornado on the ground, guys. Quiet. I see the tornado on the ground. Everything got a book to put over your head. Get in the middle. The bus now a minute and a half from the school. There's a tornado right there, guys. Look, the funnel cloud. Harry is anxious but has calm instructions for her precious cargo. Don't block me, Mr. Truck. Don't block me. Guys, we are just going to go as fast as we can into the school. The bus pulls up to the school. Everybody stay together. All our group together right now. Go, 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 go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on. Come on. Eight, Eleven. Go. Go, go. Just three minutes later, Perry's cell phone still in the driver's seat. The bus is blown away. It is eerie and then violent. A monster so strong to sweep away a 36,000 pound bus. Then heave it across the road, crushing it into a diner. Just three minutes before the tornado carried the school bus away, driver Angel Perry and 11 students had piled out of that bus, taking cover in Henryville High. Everybody stay together, all our group together right now. Go, 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 go. go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, come on, come on. Eleven, go, go, go. For ten terrifying minutes, Henryville's school bus drivers scrambled to find shelter for their precious cargo. School had been dismissed early because of the severe weather threat. Nearly three miles from school, Perry decided to head back. 2-11, I'm about a minute and a half from the school. This is 2-10, I am on Beagle Club Road, and I see a tornado touchdown about uh, one mile from me. Oh, my gosh. Then, just one block from the high school and shelter, Perry and the children see it, too. There's a tornado right there, guys. Look, the funnel cloud. 